Uh, good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. This is Miss Iman, uh, the English teacher of grade three. And, uh, and this video is about all the materials that we have covered this week. And uh, then we will start with the PowerPoint presentation about the new targeted vocabulary of the our story, Judy Moody Saves the World. Let's just start with the new with the new vocabulary, the first word, which is the word shade. Shade. Shade means an area where direct sunlight is blocked. Next word is dripping. Dripping. Dripping means coming down in drops. Next, the word curtain. Curtain. Curtain means a paper of cardboard box. The word hardly, hardly, hardly means not very much. The next word is rubbish, <coughs> rubbish, rubbish means trash, trash. And the word recycle, recycle. Recycle means to treat or process in order to use it again. The word global, global. Global means worldwide. The word complicated, complicated. Complicated means hard to understand or deal with. The word pollution, pollution. Pollution means the state of being dirty or not pure. And the last word is the word project, project. Project means a special undertaking. And this is the end for the vocabulary PowerPoint presentation. Let's move to read and answer some questions about the story Judy Moody Saves the World. Let's start. Judy Moody Saves the World questions. The first question is, who are the main characters of the story? It will be Judy, her brother Sting. What is the setting of the story? It will be at home or at the school. The third question that we have today, what happened at the beginning of the story? Judy was a, was a young girl who lives with her parents and her little brother Sting, and in her school are doing a project on the environment and how to how it can be saved. Next question we have what happened in the middle of the story? Judy was planning to win the crazy stripe contest, so Judy drew a whole bunch of crazy stripe things. And this question is describe Judy character from your point of view. In the beginning of the chapter, she seemed to be quickly become frustrated and annoyed at her brother, who is blamed for using all, uh, using up all of her crazy strips and band aids. When she, when she then started explaining about the contest, she became very excited. This is a brief about the character Judy. These are comprehension questions. What can you infer about Judy based on the pre pre uh, pretend play she is doing in the beginning of the chapter? She has a good imagination, is creative, and be, maybe wants to be a doctor when she grows up. Second question we have, how do you think Judy feels about her little brother, Sting, and why? She probably feels like he is annoyed. Uh, She probably feels like he is nuisance. She also feels like she knows much more about life than he does. Third question is, why, why do you think Judy flashed her best anaconda eyes at her brother? She was annoyed at him and wanted to let him know. 
The fourth question we have, what do you think Judy meant when she told us think he was Pats? She meant he was crazy. What was Judy hoping for when she went out for fresh air? Did it work? She was hoping that would refresh her mind and creativity so she could come up with good idea. It didn't work though. The last question we have about this story is what is the genre of this story? It's humorous fiction. And this is gonna be the end for questions about the story Judy Moody saved the world and this is the summary for the story. Now we will talk about the mo one of the most important topic in grammar which are the articles. What are the articles? Let's see. What are articles? Articles are words used to modify or point out a noun. We can call our three articles the article brothers, a, an, and the. Article brothers, we use article brothers a, sorry, we use article brother a when we are point, uh, pointing out a singular noun. Article brother A is used in front of a word that begins with a consonant. Hair gift. Hair gift was a hat. He put his bag on a chair. My mom bought me a backpack. We use article brother N. When we are pointing out a singular noun, article brother an is used in front of a word that begins with a vowel. How many vowels do we have in English? Five. A, E, I, O, and U. First example we have, we stood under an umbrella. Jan ate an apple yesterday. And the last example is, they saw an elephant at the zoo. And the last article brother is the. We use article brother the when we are pointing out a singular or plural noun. Article brother the is used in front of a word that begins with, an, with any letter of the alphabet. For example, Nan sat at the desk. The dogs ate fast. And the last one is some boys sat on the steps. Let's practice using articles in sentences. We will eat. We choose a, an or the cupcakes. The correct answer will be a, sorry, the, the cupcakes. The second question is, the squirrel ate a corn, because corn, the word corn started with a consonant. Three, third example is, girls will play at the park. So the proper answer is, the, the girls will play at the park. Number four, they had an or the awesome party. It will be the awesome party. The fifth example with us, the or a children go back to school. So the correct answer will be the, the children go back to school. The last example we have, Bill used a or an a pen, pencil. So the proper answer will be a pencil because it started with a consonant letter. Think parent chair. When do we use our article brothers? We use article brother A in front of what? In front of a singular noun started with a consonant letter. We use article brother N in front of singular noun starts with a vowel letter. And we use article brother the in front of singular or plural nouns and can be used in front of any of the alphabets. And this is the end of our video. Hope you all, hope, hope, hope you all will enjoy it. Thank you.